Yesterday I went to my former tennis club where I used to work a long time ago. They were or organizing different categories of junior semi-finals and finals and um, one particular match uh, drew my attention. It was a semi-final 16 and under between Johnson and Orera. Johnson, a very big 16 years old, I think something like six foot one, very strong, powerful against Aurora, who was again 16, but probably 5-4. And Aurora fighted like hell for the entire time. The match duration was something like two hours and 50 minutes and Aurora lost. Lost in the tiebreaker of the third set. After the match I went and I congratulated her on her amazing performance. I was really 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 impressed by the, the, the way she fighted and she wasn't impressed at all by the, the fact that she was facing like a super gigantic uh, girl, powerful. And here there was her coach talking to her, trying to you know encourage her and, uh, and he was telling her that she was not supposed to be worried because she did the best she could and she will uh, at one point uh, or one day uh, win one of the championships. If it's not the 16, it'll be probably the 18 category. But you know what? Guess what uh, Rera will do tomorrow? Or actually today, because it was yesterday. She's gonna go back into her training routines. She's gonna train as hard as she never done before. She's gonna work on her weaknesses. She's gonna keep on improving. Why? Because she's courageous. This is what courage is all about. Because she knows herself. She knows who she is. She would never let the outcome of the results define who she is. Like Churchill said, the definition of courage is the consequences of failure after failure after failure without ever losing hope. And I wanted to draw your attention uh, to this topic, courage, because I see among my clients and among people around me the phobia of failing. They are afraid to fail. It's like failing it's, uh, should be out of the question. Let me tell you something that you know. Failure is part of the journey and you will fail at one point or another, whether it's in, in your relationship or in your health or whether you've been training so hard and, into, and trying to lose weight and you did achieve some results and then after a long weekend you've regained uh, I don't know and, uh, like 10 pounds and you feel like you've you failed and you feel like you haven't fulfilled your promises uh, let me tell you something don't bother failure is just part of the journey you have to embrace it you have to learn how to embrace it because you're gonna fail and that, as a matter of fact what you can do is to be thankful to your failure because each time you fail you're gonna learn from your mistake and obviously you're not gonna do them again so it's like okay I've done this now I, know, I learned from it I'm not gonna do it so embrace embrace failure it's part of your journey if you have to note something about this is this do not let failure dictate who you are why because all the successful people whether you they are around you or you've heard of or they're like celebrities went and they are still going through the same failure as you and I do every single day of their life the only difference is that they have understand the importance of embracing failure they know that it's part of the journey so they're not discouraged and of course I know it's hard but this is where courage, courage comes you don't need it if everything is 
easy and simple and your kids are doing fine and they're healthy and they're doing fine at school and you're, ha you're having a happy marriage and you're successful at work, that's easy. Courage comes handy when you are into the sequence of failure, failure, failure and you need to keep your enthusiasm. This is where you need it the most. So, courage. Be courageous. And if you're not, develop it. Because you're going to need it if you want to be successful. So remember, courage. Alright? Alright, we'll talk to you soon.